Hello and welcome to another Timeless Gameplay video. Today we're taking a look at Blue Black Mill, which got quite a few new tools with the Outlaws of Thunder Junction, introducing Archive Trap, a card we can cast for free if the opponents search their library this turn, and in a format full of fetch lands, that's often going to be the case, and then we get to mill the opponent for 13. So zero mana mill 13 is pretty effective as it turns out, and then we can combine Archive Trap and our author mill effects with Surgical Extraction, which we can potentially cast paying two life instead of a single black mana and then we get to choose a card in the opponent's graveyard and then search the opponent's hand and library as well as their graveyard to exile all copies of that card so great against combo decks especially that rely on a single card to win the game if we happen to randomly mill it now they don't have any copies left in the deck and we can also maybe snipe some copies that they have in hand and by just exiling a few copies out of their library we're also reducing their library size so in a way it's also milling them so these are the new toys we get to play with. Now of course Outlaws introduces a bunch more powerful cards in the format, thinking of Mana Drain as a powerful blue control card, as well as a Reanimate for one mana to bring creatures back out of the graveyard, so expect to see those show up in the games today as well. And then rounding out the deck we've got some more mill cards, the usual suspects, Glimpse to mill for 10, Cacophony to mill for 8, so occasionally can kick it, but in a format as fast as Timeless that doesn't happen very often. And then a Founding can help cast those mill spells for free if we start from chapter 1, then on chapter 2 mill for 4 and eventually get back an instant or sorcery from our graveyard, so we can maybe get back a Glimpse to mill for 10 once again. And then we also have Drown as both a counter spell or a removal spell, so it's quite flexible. Fatal Push at 1 mana can enable Revolt pretty easily with our fetch lands and even Field of Ruin, which are also great ways to enable Ruin Crab's landfall ability twice, so we can immediately mill the opponent for 6. And then, of course, besides fixing our mana, the fetch lands can also get the Undercity Sewers to surveil as a nice dual land, so if we don't have anything going on needing untapped mana, that can give us a bit of card selection. Otherwise, we can also get Watery Grave and even Mystic Sanctuary in the late game, which can also help put an instant or sorcery back on top of our deck if we have enough islands on the battlefield, so that can also be a nice late game play. Maybe get back a Glimpse, an Archive Trap, or a Tasha's Hideous Laughter, which can also be very effective especially against low curve decks where we get to exile a ton of cards out of their library and then at the top of our curve we also have Jace which can immediately mill for 15 if we cast it for 4 mana and then at the mana base as we mentioned has Field of Ruin not only great with Ruin Crab can also enable Revolt on Fatal Push after getting a Swamp and immediately cast it but it's also a way to force the opponent to search their library and that will help enable Archive Trap on the off chance that our opponent's playing around it or doesn't have any fetch lands and of course by milling them there's always a chance that they don't have a basic land left to search up so then Field of Ruin turns into Land Destruction as well and there's a couple basics we can get ourselves so yeah, that's our deck. Now let's jump into some games and see how the deck does. Okay, we're on the play and uh, we're missing black mana, although we can use Founding to cast Glimpse on turn 2. So I think we give this a try. And then of course Field of Ruin can get a Swamp, enabling Revolt for Fatal Push at once. Probably gonna have to play Sanctuary turn 1 since it's gonna be kind of awkward otherwise. All right, found Surgical Extraction, could also come in handy. And start from Chapter 1. And we'll quickly find out what our opponent's up to. So it looks like a Domain deck. Okay, is there any one specific card we're worried about that we would like to extract? I guess like a turn 2 Kavu could be bad. So that might be worth taking since they didn't have a turn 1 play. They're somewhat likely to have the Kavu. Leyline Binding also reasonable since that can answer our enchantment or maybe a crab. But I'm more worried about early pressure. Alright, Poon's got some burn in hand, and then another Leyline Binding. But we'll get to remove three creatures out of their deck. Okay, Stubborn Denial also good to keep in mind. And then Field of Ruin hitting their Tri-Land is also going to slow them down a little bit. 
Breakout can maybe hit a Bowmasters or a Wild Nacoddle. Goes for a Nacoddle. Okay, mill the opponents. And then I'm not opposed to just using Field of Ruin on Savai Triome right now. Get our Swamp and have Fatal Push at the ready. And then next turn we can get back Glimpse. Opponent out of basics, so while Nakadal just a 1 1. So not very threatening right now. So I guess we must have milled their only basics. Or they just don't have any. Alright, Sacred Foundry grows Wild Nakadal once again, so now it's worth taking out. And our opponent's going to binding the founding before we get back glimpse. That's all right. We still have double cacophony in hand. I'll glimpse now. Twenty cards remaining, so these are almost enough to win the game. The right is acceptable. So tribal flames deals four damage right now. They're maybe looking to see if they have any swamps left in the deck, or if they should just fire off Tribal Flames right now. There's another Glimpse, so okay. So the next turn, Cacophony should set up Lethal. And I don't see them dealing 15 here. Even with double bolts. Take one. And a brawler. Okay. Mill you for eight. Zero cards remaining. And that does it. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw. Missing a second land is going to make this difficult to keep. Even though, in a sense, we don't even want to play the crab on turn one. So we protect it from removal. But yeah, if I don't hit a second land right away, this is going to be way too clunky. This is better, and then I could either keep up Fatal Push on turn one, or I guess um, we can always fetch for Undercity Sewers, so probably don't need to keep it. And then turn two, Founding, cast a free Glimpse. Opponent on the Titan Ramp deck, so if we could Surgical Extraction Primeval Titan, that would go a long way. For now, we can fetch Undercity Sewers, since uh, I don't need to push Kami even though it could enable the 4-mana uh, natural order, so there is still kind of a reason to take it out here. Yeah, maybe should have um, considered just playing Swamp on turn 1. Can always fetch for Watery Grave, but I might have missed out on a Surveil. And then if we ended up drawing a uh, crab, that's also a reason to maybe save the fetch land. Okay, so turn to founding cast glimpse. And next turn we can do the same with cacophony. Alright, we already milled three titans, so there's only one left. And now we could keep up Drown, which is the safer play, since next turn our opponents using Castle could already cast Primeval Titan. Yeah, I guess um, we play it cautiously and wait until we find a fourth land before committing more spells. Although I guess never mind, they do have Cavern, although that actually named Spirit because they had to play Kami on turn one. So they don't have Cavern on Titan or Giant. So that's good to keep in mind. Also, if they were to use Castle, then they're not using the Cavern of Souls to make it uncounterable. Kami is acceptable. Can just counter a natural order, if that's what they go for. Seems better than taking out the Kami right now. Could also, of course, Fatal Push. So yeah, now it's a little awkward with this Field of Ruin. If I want a Glimpse, then I'm Shields down on Drown. So what I could instead do is cast Glimpse anyway and then go for Founding, 
and then cast the um, Drown destroying the Kami after all. Is that worth it? Opponent's got 33 cards remaining. Titan is still pretty scary if they have it. Yeah, I think I do want to make use of this glimpse. They also have Titan of Industry. Just double checking that uh, we didn't mill the last Titan. And there's Karn in there as well. Yeah. And then next turn we get to mill for four, mill another eight, and then potentially another eight, which should get us pretty close. Opponent did have the Colony Garden, so looks like they'll be able to enable a natural order after all. Okay, so they'll get their last Titan here. And they should be able to attack with it right away thanks to the Battlements, assuming they have a red source left. Which they do. And there's Field of the Dead. Alright, well, that's too bad. I do a Field of Ruin to destroy Field, but they'll likely get a few more here. So the army of zombies is gonna be quite overwhelming. So now my best bet is maybe top decking a Hideous Laughter, hoping they don't have many expensive spells left. Pushuka Bog exiles my graveyard as well. So, yeah, next turn we're certainly facing lethal. Karn could potentially find some utility card. Something like a Platinum Angel, so they don't lose the game. Drew another Cacophony. Well, I guess that does it too. Mill you for eight. And Millie for another eight. Okay, so yeah, going shields down on Drown might have been a mistake, but uh, possible they just play another Cavern of Souls and make Titan uncounterable, even though at this point it seemed more likely that they had Natural Order in hand instead. So possible we could have played it a little safer by just keeping up uh, Drown at all times. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw, and... Uh, this hand is a little bit awkward. Hideous Laughter exiles instead of milling, so it doesn't help set up extraction. So I'm just using Founding, maybe starting from Chapter 2. That feels kind of weak, and then we still need to hit our third land drop, and then casting three Hideous Laughters is going to be pretty slow. So I'll take my mulligan. Well, this was not an improvement. Single line being Field of Ruin. So down to five we go. Go to Keeper now, and then Keep Crab, and then maybe just Hideous Laughter Archive Trap. So it looks like we'll get to Archive Trap at least. And then do I play the Crab or do I wait? I think in this case it's reasonable to wait, since I don't have a 2-drop in hand. And then if they fetch we can uh, Archive Trap and Surgical. Opponent's gonna surveil, which maybe helps us out as well. And if they keep on top, then we'll end up milling regardless. Okay, so blue-black control. So we're mainly interested in taking away counter spells like mana drain. All right, I guess that's the pick. Opponent just with two regular counter spells in hand, Fatal Push and Sauron's Ransom. Still get to remove three out of their deck. And then we see lots of card draw, counter spells, bowmasters, removal. So it's uh yeah, gonna be a lengthy battle. The good news is our opponent doesn't apply a ton of pressure. So They'll naturally end up drawing a bunch of cards. So we'll start with Ruin Crab, that's 
potentially getting fatal pushed or they might just counter if they don't want to get milled for three because if we have a fetch land we could actually mill for six potentially so our opponent's not gonna take any uh risks and that leaves a door open for hideous laughter to potentially resolve i could play polluted delta i could save it in case um we draw another crab yeah i'll hold it in hand for now and then if they go for ransom do i counter it yeah, I think so. Just want to stop the two for ones. I will play the sewers. And then another hideous laughter I'll keep. So it's probably time to start casting those. Sanctuary can get back. Ransom, it looks like. So they can both Ransom and Counterspell. Yeah, so it goes. And then, let's see here. I think we give them the three pile, since their opponent's always going to go for brainstorm otherwise. Although they have a brainstorm in hand already, that could be bad too. But yeah, opponent grabs the brainstorm. Yeah, being on a mulligan to five against a deck chock full of uh, one for one counter spells is pretty rough. But at least we extracted the mana drain. Your opponent's looking for Bowmasters to start applying pressure, basically, but we already milled two of them. They could also potentially use Cramp to mill us out by stealing it with a charm, but we should still mill them faster, so I'm not too concerned. But yeah, Brainstorm is very good when uh, you're not getting punished by Bowmasters in this format. Now I do have my own Mystic Sanctuary that I can fetch up with Polluted Delta. So that may be worthwhile at some point. For now, I guess we just Hideous Laughter. Could also use Field of Ruin on the Undercity Sewers. Maybe take them off Black Mana. And then uh, wait another turn on Laughter. Alright, opponent cycling, Lorien Revealed. Which would have been powerful to cast for 5 mana, but they're maybe just worried about decking. And they did have another black source to fetch up. I'll get an island. So the fact that they didn't cast Lorien Revealed heavily implies that they have another counter spell in hand they wanted to keep up. And they did also end up fetching a swamp, so they've got plenty of black mana. Okay, there's Shark Typhoon, another one of their win conditions. And polluted delta. All right, so I'm gonna hideous laughter, and then get Mystic Sanctuary to put it back on top. Hideous laughter, not the best against their deck when they have Shark Typhoon as a card. They can um, potentially exile, costing six mana. Is this another Shark Typhoon, perhaps? So they've got 21 cards remaining. There is another Shark Typhoon, so they don't have many left in the deck. How many did we mill? Did not mill any, so I guess there's still two, which is 12 mana for Hideous Laughter purposes. Our opponent has us on a three-turn clock. And I still think Hideous Laughter is our best card here. I guess I could hard cast Archive Trap, mill for 13. Opponent's got 19 cards remaining, so we'll definitely need another mill effect alongside it. I mean, Hideous Laughter won't be bad here necessarily. Lorien Revealed is another one of those expensive cards. So maybe we are better off with uh, Trap. It is an instant, so I can cast it end of turn for what it's worth. Although I no longer have Field of Ruin to enable it. 
Okay, so we draw the trap. And then it both needs to resolve and our opponents can't have any counter spells. Bowmasters is also just game here. All right, so close one. Curious to see if Archive Triumph resolves. It's going to be a dig through timer response. Likely finding another counter spell. Archmage's Charm, perhaps. Nope, just a classic counter spell. All right, GG's. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the play, and uh, yeah, this looks keepable. I'm gonna risk it and play Rune Crab on turn one. Hope it survives. And then, if our opponent's playing Fetch Lands, which is likely, we can enable Archive Trap. We get some mountain. Do we see a lightning bolt on the crab? We do. Okay. It's your opponent's mono red aggro or red black. Yeah, that could be a tough matchup, although hideous laughter should be effective. So they're down to 29 cards halfway. And a Reckoner Raid is next, maybe enabling Spectacle here. It's gonna be a Ragavan. Okay. Not opposed to just going Fatal Push plus Cacophony and then next turn Hideous Laughter. And then we can wait on Push in case they have another Ragavan in hand. Bump in the night down to 11. And there's an idol on. Alright. Archive trap may not get cast this game. But our opponent's dead. Yeah, that's the upside of uh, hideous laughter against such a low curve deck. Awesome, on to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw. This hand's not great. We're missing a second blue or black source to cast a glimpse. But if we do, we can set up surgical. And then, of course, triple hideous laughter is hit or miss. And uh, kind of slow to get going. But uh, I guess we're not going to lack mill effects. So I'll try it. On the draw, we're more likely to hit our second land for Glimpse. And Jace is kind of the opposite of what we wanted to draw. A world Tree maybe pointing towards a ramp deck. Alright, found a land, that's great. And I'll just get an island here. And what do we see? We see some spice, Leyline of the Guild Pact, they didn't have in their opener. And then, yeah, basically a five color saga pile. Could maybe take Dried with a surgical. They might also be a show and tell type of deck, although Reckoner Raids makes me think they might be on Tom Bombadil. See Bombadil's song as well. Yeah, I guess we'll just Surgical Dried and then see what our opponent's working with. Alright, so... Just a bunch of legendary creatures. Definitely a strange deck. And yeah, there's only the one Dried in there. But we do indeed see one Tom Bombadil. The average mana values are pretty high, so Hideous Laughter is not going to be at its best. Yeah, it almost feels like we queued up against a Brawl deck that's somehow in Timeless. 
opponent keeps two on top. Happy to um, lose life for now, I guess, and mill those cards. And then we'll kick things off, potentially even with Field of Ruin, although wasn't paying too much attention if they had Basic Mountain in there. So we could also just uh, start casting Hideous Laughters. So we exiled a decent bunch. They did have Basic Mountain. Boseju is next. And we can lose some more life. Okay, next up could play Jay's Mill for 15. Or save that for next turn so I don't have to take any damage. It is Laughter again. This one not quite as effective, but still sets up Jace to be lethal. So to play it safe, I don't want to lose any more life to the Planter. Okay, and then Jace Mill for 15. And that should do it. Alright, sweet. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the play with a solid hand. Good mix of interaction, mill effect, and uh, turn one. Probably just fetch line pass. Plan to get sewers. Opponent with her own fetch land, so that enabled Archive Trap. Then we can maybe Surgical afterwards. Another Archive Trap. Yeah, they'll likely search their library once again, so I'll keep it and then have to cast this while I can. Hope they don't have a spell pierce. Okay, so our opponent on what looks like black reanimator of sorts, maybe. Do you see drown in the loch, which is maybe worth taking with surgical as a counter spell. They didn't thaw seize me on turn one, so they probably don't have it. All right, I'll surgical just to see what's up. And their hand, Death Shadow, I see. So they want to actively lower their own life total, which they can also accomplish with the Reanimate. And then Treasure Cruise, Counter Spells, Brainstorms, and there we see Reanimate to lower their own life total as well. All right, so there's quite a bit of interaction we'll have to play around but currently no counter spells in hand at least. They can use the uh, troll to get an extra land, which also enables Archive Trap. So I don't think there's a need to keep up Drown, I can just cast Glimpse. And then if they cycle a troll, we get another free 13 mil. Which puts her opponent... Oh! The game did not hold priority. So that's strange. Should have kept priority for Archive Trap. Well, that's a shame. And maybe should be in full control constantly. Now I'll go for Cacophony. And probably see a Bowmaster's end of turn. Thoughtseize can now take away my Archive Trap or Drown. Takes the Trap. 
yeah, if we had been able to cast it, it would have been game over next turn. They even had a fetch land to enable it to. Yeah, I'm not sure why the game just skipped over priority since cycling is still searching. And a little baby death shadow. I guess her opponent's out of uh, lands to fetch with polluted delta, so just ended up uh, paying one life to it basically. Well, that does mean Death Shadow is less likely to grow. As we find another Drown. Mill for four. And then next turn we can get back Glimpse, which should also do it. And we know there's no counter spells in hand, so we should be in the clear. All right. I guess I'll take it. And our opponent explodes. Sweet, on to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw with a somewhat slow but potentially keepable hand. We're just missing kind of our more explosive cards like Crab or uh, Archive. And uh, could also get her run over by aggro since we don't have any removal. Find Fatal Push. I guess Watery Grave, I think I just go tapped Watery Grave myself and hold Delta in case we draw a cramp later, even though I could search up the sewers to surveil. My hand's already pretty decent, so the surveil wouldn't change too much. Aha, uh -huh, it's the Mill Mirror. Okay. Well, now I regret not keeping up Fatal Push, I guess. So for the Mirror match, we have a decent hand. Have to watch out for... Archive Trap, although Field of Ruin can enable it for them. So I think the priority is dealing with the Ruin Crab while we can. So I'll go Founding and then Fatal Push. And then Hideous Laughter should also be pretty decent in the matchup. Opponent mills for 8. And they're looking at maybe a Surgical Extraction here. At least they didn't mill Glimpse, but they could maybe hit my Hideous Laughter, which is now a reason to maybe cast my own Hideous Laughter first. It does enable their Archive Trap, but I think that's inevitable. And then life total doesn't matter too much here. Okay, point is down to 29 cards. Can have a look at their build. And then, yep, there's the Archive Tramp, so if our opponents go to Surgical on Glimpse, I'm going to be pretty sad since we have two of them in hand. Double Archive Tramp. Down to 12. Well, if they have a third, we're dead. Although there's no Archive Tramps left. So now it's Surgical that they're maybe looking at. And Brainstorm. So we're probably not getting milled for too much this turn. At most Cacophony for 8. So if I can draw a land to double Glimpse. That still doesn't quite do it. If I go for Hideous Laughter, opponent can Surgical in response. But then of course we didn't spend mana on it. So that might be fine. So we need our opponent to search their library to enable Archive Trap. Whatever they put on top is likely getting milled. Two mana. Opponent passes. We did draw the land. Okay, so the plot thickens. I could get back Surgical, cast that paying two life to hit. I mean, there's no counter spells they can cast with their current mana. I could hit the opponent's Cacophony, although they probably would have cast that. Is there anything in Exile? No two mana counterspells here either. Yeah, close call. Maybe just hit their Hideous Laughter with Surgical. Since that's a card they could still have in hand and not have had the chance to cast it. And our opponent might Surgical it in response. 
And then we likely die to an opposing hideous laughter, since I can only mill for 20. Yep. And now that they know about Archive Trap, they're not gonna run into it. Okay, so best I can do here, I think. Mill for 20. This would mill for 15. And then that to Hideous Laughter, that to an opposing glimpse, although there's not too many of those left. So yeah, I wonder had we kept a Fatal Push turn 1, if that would have made a huge difference. Because then I could have cast a 2-drop on turn 2 already. Opponent goes for Founding. And... Okay. Exile card from their graveyard, surgical. I guess they're gonna hit Jace if they milled it. They did. So, opponent not able to win the game yet. Just trying to prevent us from milling them. If we draw an untapped land, Archive Tramp gets there. Okay. And we found the land. So that should do it. Awesome! That was a very cool back and forth here in the mill mirror match. So you get to take a look at two different builds of the archetype. Awesome! Well, mill might be back on the menu. I don't think it's gonna necessarily take over the entire format, since we're still not playing some of the most broken cards in the format. There's no Dark Rituals or Demonic Tutors being cast in our deck. There's no Show and Tells either. So we are definitely counting on some of those cheap or free spells like Surgical Extraction and Archive Tramp to kind of catch up against those unfair strategies. And then of course Surgical can be pretty nice against combo decks in general. But uh, if we don't draw them, we can just get run over by aggro sometimes, since it's not like our deck has a whole lot of interaction. So all in all, a decent deck, and should translate reasonably well to best of three, since we can always bring in more counter spells or removal, depending on the situation. So yeah, could also be a fine best of three strategy going forward. But for now, I want to thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day.